And guess what? They belong to me. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is not a re-redo, because I know when I did Anywhere Alpha uh, the first time, I had to do it twice. But this is still part of the Anywhere Alpha upgrade project. And we first must warn you that this may be an extremely long episode, because we're going to go into details of a lot of stuff about um, the Alienware Alpha, well, Mike's version. Mm -hmm. And then there's some other things that... Uh, I forgot to tell you all about um, when I did Alienware Alpha Upgrade. Mm -hmm. Now, there were some things that um, that I neglected to tell you, like um, how to activate all your processors. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know how many processors that the i3 version has of his, because mm -hmm. this is the one, this is the i3 version. This is how mine was when I first got it. And the, uh, the max memory setting. Um, to, to max out your memory at the startup. Plus, some of the issues that you may have with the Xbox uh, 360 controller when you're playing games, there's some stuff that I need to address on that too. Mm -hmm. But um, this is Mike's. So, and um, you may be wondering, let's do that a little bit. Fred talks a lot, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah. You done talking so much? <laughs> <laughs> I just try and get oh, all the information good, I can. Good. All right, all right. Let's Five, go. four, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWT. We want the fastest game show on Mike C. And I'm Fred Wild. Hey, you see the stuff off to the right? This is mine. Hey, Mike finally got his Alienware Alpha. That's Congratulations. Right, that's, right, that's right. That's right. And um, we're going to do an unboxing since I didn't unbox mine. So what we have here is the Steam controller that he got. We have the Alienware Alpha console itself. We have the memory. And wow, what is this Ogato capturing device doing here? Now, there were some things I forgot to tell you all about as far as um, when I did mine, I didn't tell you how to activate all your processors. And um, I didn't tell you how to uh, max out your memory at the startup. And I didn't go over some of the issues that you have with the Xbox 360 controller. Mm -hmm. Now, this one. Uh, you said it already has Windows 10. Windows already 10 is in. already pre-installed with this one, yes. Okay. And um, we're going to address, uh, address those issues. And when I was telling you all, if you don't feel comfortable with upgrading your unit as far as doing the processor or the memory or the hard drive, that you should just go to a professional. Mm -hmm. Mike, do you have any you know, knowledge or do you have any experience in upgrading like memory and all that other mm. stuff with PCs? Well, not with PCs, but I know I did do it with uh, PlayStation 3, and that was before with the easy access as far as with the PlayStation 4. So I'm used to just opening up a device and looking at the innards or on the side of it. So I am knowledgeable enough to get through, but that's why I'm here for your expertise. All right. So we're going to go ahead and crack it open, okay. show you what's inside of it. So I'm putting all this other stuff off to mm -hmm. the side right now. Let's see what's inside. Let me see that right there. Man, this did you before, Fred. <laughs> All right, so we got the alien way. We got the alien on the front of it. Damn. So this must be the keyboard. Uh, I didn't get a keyboard with mine. Okay. Got some writing. HDMI core power cable. Power brick. Okay. The mouse? Yeah, wow. I got a mouse too. Yeah. I didn't get a mouse with mine. And this little guy. Okay. Did you get the 360 controller? No, I did not. Oh, okay. I did not get the 360 because I already had Xbox One controllers. All right. Um, so since he doesn't have the 360 controller, um, let me just go into that for a little bit. When, when I had Windows 7, I think, Windows 7, no, Windows 8 came on this, and Windows 8.1. And then when I upgraded to Windows 10, I had a lot of problems with the Xbox 360 controller. But what happened was that the left analog stick, when you would move it, the mouse would move. And that was a good indication that 
some of the games weren't going to work by like games like Call of Duty where you need the left analog stick. It would just act as a mouse on a desktop mode, but it wouldn't act as a controller while you were playing the game. And what I would have to do is keep unplugging it and plugging it back in until the drivers was acting correctly. Mm -hmm. If you have an Xbox One controller, you won't have any problems with that. We're going to go through and I'm going to um, show you how to install the drivers for the Xbox One controller. Okay. So, so you gotta get your Xbox One controller. Do that. So we're not doing the keyboard and the mouse. So let's let's see what the uh, let's see what the keyboard, keyboard looks like. Okay. Mouse is just your regular mouse got a scrolling pad. I don't know if I'm gonna take this off. But. Ah, a lot of stuff. Wow. I don't know if this stuff illuminates. It may. You will see. I'm not sure. And there was something else that I forgot to tell you all. Uh, these two lights right here. Yeah, yours is way different from mine because mm -hmm. I don't have that sticker right there. Mm -hmm. These lights, the backlit and this light right here, they can be changed to almost any color that you want. And it, I, I said before that both of them had to stay the same, but they're independent. So I was wrong on that first um, broadcast that I did. But again, you have the power button. You have two USB 3.0 slots up front. You have the uh, two USB 3.0 slots in the back. You have Ethernet uh, connection. You have the optical. Um, then you have your HDMI in and out. Okay. Then you have your power. Now, the HDMI in and out, is something like the Xbox, but I think Xbox does a lot better than that because you have to go through so much stuff to watch whatever's plugged in to the end port. Um, if you just want to watch simple TV, you have to boot this up and, you know, it's, it's a lot of headache for, for a lot of nothing. Okay. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to install the RAM. Now, you've seen we unboxed it. It came pre-installed with four gigs of RAM. This is the i3 version of the unit. So we haven't turned it on or anything like that. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bump up the RAM. After we do that, we're going to come back and uh, show you how to activate all your processes. Plus, we're going to show you how to activate the, uh, the RAM as well so you can get the most out of it. Your unit and we might do some gameplay okay. as well All right. so uh, might go ahead and unbox that and all you're gonna need is just simply um, I wish I had something to put it on just turn it over mm-hmm the four screws that you're going to have to take out are the screws here, 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 here. Oh, and I forgot the uh, the hidden USB compartment. Now, I use this to put my dongle for my uh, wireless keyboard and mouse. Okay. But since Mike has uh, a wired keyboard and mouse, he would just put his dongle for his uh, Steam OS controller okay. in there. So, Mike, take it away. All right, so. Take them away. So why do you try to left it loose, right? Right. Okay, so we're back. We finally got the screws on out of here after all the troublesome type of difficulties we had with it. So <laughs> yeah, it was it was a lot of work getting these screws out. But um just lift it up and yeah, it's at the bottom. I mean it's at the top. So what you're just gonna do is just put it back on there and flip it. So but you back when you back. when you do it, hold it, mm -hmm. hold this for a second, mm -hmm. and pick that up. Pick this up. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna have to do is catch the screws. Yeah, you missed the first. Missed the first two. Mm -hmm. All right. So just go ahead and put this back on. Don't work my coffee. I just got. Go ahead, flip it over and remove the top. 
Da, 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 da. All right, now it's that simple. Now, um, the memory is hidden under the CPU, I believe. So what you're going to do is just squeeze those two tabs out, Mike. Real simple. All right, and there goes the uh, the fan. Now, if you watched the series before, you you can see under this, but we don't have that angle. Um, hold it, Mike, so I can show you. So it's under this fan right here. Now you have a, a fan for the GPU and the CPU. The, uh, there's nothing under the GPU that you can work with, so there's no sense of taking that out. But hold that mic. As you can see, the um, the GPU, I mean the CPU fan is taken out, and you got your memory right here. And what you have is these two indentations. And the only thing you have to do is just pick them apart. The memory. Uh, Kind of pop up a little bit and just pull it right out. So, Mike, go ahead and do that. Okay, so pick them apart. Just pull. Real simple. And that's it. And let me see it. As you can see, well, you can't see, but it says four gigs of RAM on here. Come on, Christian. Come on, Mike. So very easy. Yeah, we're not getting it out of plastic. All right. There, there goes one, one Fred. Mm -hmm. Two, two Fred. Okay. Cover back up. Grab the paint. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is when you put these memory uh, sticks in, mm -hmm. you're gonna start with the top one first, and you're gonna look at the notches. Now the notches. Uh, on here, you have the smallest on your left, mm -hmm. if you're looking at it, and the largest to your right. That's if you're looking at it right here. So what all, all you do is you slide it back in at, at an angle and then just put it down. So, Mike, go ahead and do your first one. Make sure it's in there. And then just push it down. That's it. Now that's like so simple. So this one just goes right up here. Mm -hmm. So how many cars can I actually put up in there? Just two. Just two? Okay, we're we'll trying to do this one. Uh, might, might need a little bit of help for it. Okay, I was in the wrong spot. And it's hanging up. Mm -hmm. and that's it. That's it. So simple. All right, now put your fan back on. You want to make sure that it clicks. And try to push it up. All right, you can't do it. All right, now um, we're going to go ahead and close this up. And then we're going to hop back on when we're into Windows. And I'm going to show you how to activate all your processors and activate your startup menu. So um, hang on and we'll be right back. Hey, I'm Mike C. And I'm Fred Watt. Hey, we're here to talk to you about the $5 Apple Raffle. Yeah, where you can win an Apple TV, uh -huh. an Apple Watch, uh -huh. and an iPad. Go to the website and register and buy your ticket. From now to December the 1st, 2016, you can buy as many tickets as you want, and we will announce the winner December the 1st, live on our Twitch TV channel. Good luck to everybody. Hurry up and get your tickets, and we'll see you on December the 1st to announce the winner. See you next time on WWTF. You want the facts? The Game Show. All right, now we're inside of Windows 10, and there are three things that I need to show you all um, that's going to improve your gameplay with the Alienware i3, and as well as you, Mike. Uh -huh. So the, the three things that I want to key on, and I hope I'm not leaving out anything, is the GeForce Experience, uh -huh. <clears throat> the activating all your cores on your processor, and your memory maxing the memory uh, on your startup. So um, let's go to your PC settings, right? And we're gonna show everybody that Mike is now running with um, 16 gigs of RAM. I hate, I hate this view. Um, where 
there's the system systems right here. <clears throat> now, a lot of this information is blurred out because we don't want to show Mike's personal information. But we can see right here it says 64, um, 16 gigs of RAM. All right. 15.5 is usable. So, and it's a 64 bit operating system. <clears throat> Windows activated and all that. And Mike, this there were two different versions of this console okay. when you went to go get it. Correct. There was a Steam one, and then there was a Windows. Right. Okay. Now the reason why I asked you not to get the uh, the Steam one is because you wouldn't have had the Windows side. And it's very important if you have games that you haven't gotten through Steam, you weren't going to be able to play them because there was no way for you to get to that side to add games to the Steam. Now you can, like if you get. Uh, games from Ubisoft or Uplay mm -hmm. or the other uh, clients, you can add them to Steam as non-Steam games and be able to play them that way. Okay. If you got the Steam uh, <coughs> machine mm -hmm. versus the Alpha, you wouldn't have been able to do that. So, um, <coughs> let's show you the GeForce experience right now. Now, Mike, we're going to upgrade your system to an i7, but right now you're playing on an i3. So what you would do is you would launch this application right here or download GeForce, um, GeForce Experience um, from NVIDIA. And what it will do is going to list all your games that you have. If you can optimize them or if the software is able to optimize it for you, It'll be highlighted right here, but you can see right here. It's telling you um, Let's go to Bioshock Infinite. It's telling you the best settings uh -huh. To put your game on okay now either you can write this down and once you launch the game Which you can do it right here. You can go ahead and change all your configurations, right? Uh -huh. So like I said if there was a game that was able to uh, be optimized it would be highlighted right here. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, and then if you go to drivers, see you have a driver, you have a new driver that you need to install. Okay. So it update, it keeps you updated on your drivers. My rig is just telling you what's in this console. Now we all know the Alienware Alpha. <clears throat> Uh, video card can't be upgraded, so that's why you can't do virtual uh, reality. And that's only that's the only thing that's really stopping the Alienware Alpha from competing with the big rigs is its inability to upgrade the graphics card. Mm -hmm. So um, this just tells you about your system right here. The Shield, uh, I'm, we're going to try to get one so we can review to y'all. The Shield is much like what the uh, Steam client is. Where you can download games and they keep tracks of it and all that good stuff. Preferences, right here, uh, it's the same thing where general you can make configurations. You can go get games or um, when you buy games from the Shield, it'd be placed here so they tell you what games that you have. And once you download it, it's yours for life. So if you ever had to restart your system, Mike, mm -hmm. um, you could just go ahead and re download them and. Looks cool. Uh, the shield will keep track of it. <clears throat> um, and getting to the most important part, and I didn't show everybody this when I did mine, is that it's best for you to activate or start all your um, all your cores and your processor and maximize your memory at startup. So the easiest way to do that is if you don't have this run icon right here, mm -hmm. what you can do is you can go down here to, uh, I was about to call her Siri, Cortana. Yeah, that's right. You can just type in run. And the desktop app would be right here. So what I did for you was I just pinned it to the taskbar. Okay. So what you're going to do is just click on run, and you're going to type in msconfig. And that's M S C O N F I G. And what you're going to hit is OK. <clears throat> um, you're going to go to boot and you're going to go to advanced options. And since you have the i3 processor in here, mm -hmm. you only have four cores. 
that you can launch. But we already did this, folks, so we're not going to mess with this setting. This setting right here, um, since you have 16 gigs of RAM, what you want to start out with, and I forget, I think it's 16,000. And you want to go to this tab and bump it up as far as you can. All right. So what you initially have is 16,384. That's your memory. So we already did this, you all, so we're not going to uh, make any changes. We're going to cancel out of this. <clears throat> but the most important thing is if you do not follow this step and you keep this as a zero, your computer is not going to start and you're going to have to reinstall Windows. So just keep in mind, follow these instructions to the T. Do not leave this at zero or your computer is not going to start. So, uh, like I said, we already did this, so we want to cancel it up out of this. And that's how you get your Alienware Alpha bumped up and ready to go with the i3. But we will upgrade this machine to i7. Thank you guys for tuning in. And like always, uh, you can hit us up at thegamershow at gmail.com. If you have any comments, want us to review something, or you just want to talk to us. And like always, like, subscribe, and follow all our social networks and join our Steam OS and our website community. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. You want the facts? The Gamer Show. See you guys next time.